Hi, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I put my hair in a side pony to convince you that this wasn't filmed directly after I did the one about the fake market, which of course it was. I just cleaned up a little bit. Cleaned up, had a little break, and now I want to talk about the fabric market. So that's another huge tourist spot in Shanghai is the fabric market. This is line, I want to say line four, the purple, purple line, the like dark purple line. I want to say line four, Nanpu Bridge. Lines converge and we're taking line four to Nanpu Bridge. So when you get off at line four, you need to turn left and walk kind of, it's like the bridge is like one of those like overpass bridges and you need to kind of walk under and around to the other corner to get to the fabric market, which is this big um, above ground building that's three stories tall and every single little shop front is a tailor and everything is custom made. Um, it's one of those spots where whenever we had anyone visit, we would take them to the fabric market. If you're only there for a couple days, they can make things for you very quickly. Um, but typically we would give them a week to make something. They could do things faster. Because we lived there, we were able to give them a little bit of extra time, which was nice. I did not get anything made at the fabric market. Personally, if I want to go buy a nice dress or something, I don't have any trouble finding something that is my size that's going to fit me really well and take it right off the rack and it's it would be a lot cheaper for me to buy a dress from a store off the rack than it would be for me to get something custom made but when it comes to men's suits or like if i was going to buy a suit something that's very tailor made the fabric market is a great option so i'm going to bring alex in so that he can discuss some of the details with you of his favorite suit that he got from the fabric market he had a lot of things made and he can kind of give you the details where i don't remember everything so this is the first suit that you no this is like the third suit that you got yeah so well no this is the second suit i got you had me some jackets made from duo duo before we got to this one that's right so we had my first suit made at duo duo um, which was a place we'd been recommended uh, by a couple of our friends. But then we went for um, this one at a shop around the corner because I'm bougie and I like it when things look pretty. But you, and you had a great, oh, this was called, wait, is this the name of the store? Mm-hmm. Rijang. Rijang? Rijang? Rijang. Rijang? Anyways, you had a great experience at this store. You really liked it. Mm-hmm. But Derek had a suit made there that he didn't love. Well, I, well it was so interesting. Was yeah, like he liked his he liked his suit from Duo Duo better, but his had it some fits. like um something wrong in sort of the breast area. Um, it was like a ripple effect. It was kind of weird. It just like but wasn't perfect. This but one anyways. was perfect for me. It was a great suit. The tailoring was great. I got to choose my linings. I got to do all that good stuff. Um, and what, yeah. So what makes the suits from the fake market? or from, sorry, not fake market, the suits from the fabric market different than something that you would get custom done in Toronto? What makes them different? Yeah. Well, to get this suit done in Toronto would cost me $800. That is the obvious. That's the, that's the big difference. Big difference. I mean, that's the big difference. This one cost me 250 maybe 300 I think. Um, and that's more, that's on the more expensive end at the fabric market. Yeah. Um, and just the same the same suit here in, in Toronto would have cost, you know. Was this a two piece or three piece? This was a three piece. I don't three have the piece. vest here because I never, I only wear it on special occasions to yeah. wear it in a closet. Yeah. Um so I mean cost it cost is the big factor. Um this particular shop did a little extra hand stitching on the interior that um, not all the shops in the fake market did. Oh, yeah, so nice. that was that was nice and I appreciated that and you know, I was willing to pay a little extra for that. But again, you know, you could go to like an Indochino or something like that here in Toronto and get like maybe to you know a decent price on a suit and stuff but um like the hand stitching and stuff like that i mean toronto you're looking at eight hundred thousand dollars probably yeah but yeah but i, I was super happy with this I, I liked it a lot um and they were super flexible they you know they tried it on and were willing to do some like you know refittings and stuff like that if they needed to but this mm -hmm. one actually fit me like a glove right away Great, thank you for your time. Yeah. Just like that extra thing, I just feel like you don't find, like, you can't really buy a suit like this, right, in Toronto. So that's just, like, really cool. There's the inside pocket. Detailing. Button. This one was really cool. 
and he got he got a bunch of like dress shirts done as well you can pick the color you can pick the details you can have you can have your initials embroidered you can re there's there's really endless endless opportunities you know when alex and i shopped at the fabric market we had nothing but great experiences um they they you know measure you right there in the store they take down everything you choose every single detail of what they're making and yeah we had a great time i even took for was it for christmas or for his birthday i think it was for his birthday i like saved one of the measurement sheets from a previous one and i went back to the same tailor and i picked out uh the fabric and what i wanted and i made him this like special suit jacket and I just crossed my fingers that he liked it because I feel like he gets picky on things like that. And it, lucky he did like it. He said that he gets tons of compliments on it and he does wear it a lot. So I know that he's not lying. Okay, this is the one that I had made for Alex for his birthday, I think. Um, yeah, I was unsure about this outside. It's it's quite a thick, like a, like a thick wool, I guess. Um, and I didn't know if he would like it. It's so hard to decide on a color when you're looking at something that's this big. Is this a color? Is this the color that you want the entire thing to be? It's like hard to imagine, you know? Um, but that's what I went for. You can see the detailing, like the pockets inside. Like it's all just like very cool. You need the extra zippers, this little pocket here, pocket down here. Very customizable. I really like this blue on the inside. The stitching around this one was from Duo Duo. We picked out the buttons that we liked we um there's also like button stores there like uh button like storefronts so if you don't like the basic buttons that they have at the shop you can walk two stores down like two steps away and look at a million buttons and you could buy separate buttons if you wanted fancier ones or a specific color or something you can do a little bit of bargaining when it comes to the the cost of the full suit you know whether it's a two-piece whether it's a three-piece whether you're getting um a shirt like are you getting two shirts are you just going to add one shirt extra onto the full suit you can do a little bit of bargaining uh, but for the most part as long as you're just really real with them they'll they'll give you a good price of what they usually charge i didn't feel like there was a ton of bargaining going on but you want to bargain a little bit but it's usually in a pretty good range of what they're going to be doing for you. I have a ton of friends that shopped at the fabric market, got things made, had a great experience. When I went back to the fabric market with one of my friends, we did not have a great experience. And I'm going to share that with you as well, just as a cautionary tale. It was, I guess, partially our fault. We had shown them a picture of what we wanted. And I think it was a little bit off of their usual style, their usual tailoring. So I think when you're giving them something that's too different than what they're used to, it, it's like, you, you don't know, you don't know what you're going to get. Right. So we were like, this is what we want. Can we make this happen? They were like, yes, you pay them uh, a deposit. So like roughly half of the price is the deposit before you leave. When you come back to pick it up, you're going to pay them the full amount. When we went back to pick it up, the outfit did not fit my friend like we thought it was going to. Things they had talked about and assured her that it would it would be a certain way, it was not. There was misunderstanding, there was anyways, but obviously you've already paid for the work and the work has been completed. So at that point, we stayed there for a long time when we went back to pick it up, just kind of like arguing and trying to bargain with her. This outfit that she'd made was not what we had wanted and was not what they had talked about. So what we were trying to bargain for was for them to keep that outfit and sell it to someone else because when you're in the storefront, they have things in the storefront and you could just buy something off the rack. The point is to get it custom made, but if you wanted something there, you could just buy it. So she said, can I just pay for this, but you keep it and I will just take a suit jacket off the rack instead. 
She was not happy with that. The store lady wasn't having any of it. It, we just stayed for a long time trying to discuss it, trying to like come to a solution, which never happened. And they ended up turning the lights off. It was like 6 p.m. And they were closing and they just turned the lights off and the security guy came around and was like, you have to go. And we were like, we tried so hard. So, uh, that was not, that wasn't great. Uh, that was also at a different place. That was on the first floor. Um, a different person had recommended one of the tailors on the first floor. I really think that all of the tailors are quite similar. I think it just depends if you find someone that you want to work with. Yeah, their English level is great. There, um, there's really no communication error at either of either the fabric market or the fake market. Um, everything is very easily understood, which is super handy. Uh, there's one of the stores that we went to a friend shops at and they have pictures of famous people who've worn their suits like on the red carpet or whatever a friend of you know someone wears their suit to the Tonys someone wears it to the Oscars like and you're like is that for real and then you don't know who knows these pictures on the wall could are they for real I know someone who has worn their suit to the Tonys so I know that it's real I'm like wow yes that's awesome Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you can visit the fabric market. It is amazing to see, even if you're not gonna get anything there, it's really cool just to go and look at all the things that are there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you click subscribe, give this video a like, leave me a comment, and I will see you again next week. Bye.